hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is solomon jagwe so today uh this is again another tutorial that i promised i would uh, share uh today we're gonna be looking at the does it's a script uh does bridge from does to Maya. so i've been been able to get to this uh sooner because uh, my my machine crashed and i had to rebuild everything <laughs> i have to start from scratch but my programs are back and now i can share this tutorial so here's a, a zombie character and no sorry not a zombie character rather it's a mummy character uh um, this is a, like uh, egyptian mummy and if i zoom out you can see you know the nice detail and all that so the idea again is to take this character to maya you know like if i wanted to build a scene uh maybe like a science fiction kind of scene and so maya this is maya behind here i'm using maya 2020 and i've already installed uh the plugin that does to maya plugin so if you after you install it successfully it will be it will show up here up at the top uh does to maya now the way you get the plugin you simply go to does3d.com and click on get started for free they have the different uh bridges over here they have mac at uh, 3s max maya cinema 4d blender unreal engine and unity so just click on get started for free and put in your details and uh, then you'll be able to install it once it shows up you're going to be able to start successfully and make sure you check your uh, does studio that this bridge is also showing up because it won't work if it doesn't show up okay so make sure you click on the character that you're gonna send to maya Okay. and go to script does bridges click on does to maya click on that and let it go through the process now again i made a mistake <laughs> and i i when i did the does to blender bridge and does to 3ds max i said oh, every time you do this please please make sure you turn off uh IRA before you export because it's gonna it's just gonna increase the time it takes for you to export that to send this uh, the model to another program so i don't know if i can actually cancel let me see if i can cancel if it works if not i'll just let it go through <coughs> excuse me all right so there it goes it's sending all the morphs and it's done okay now just uh just so you are aware guys you're not all gonna the character that goes to maya is not gonna end up looking exactly like this so you still have to do some you know editing and manipulation uh updating the textures linking up so it works or it looks close to this and the lighting is so don't let the lighting kind of you know mislead you into thinking that everything is gonna look like this so but here we go to maya and simply go to does 3d up at the top on the on the top uh, menu click on does to maya click one time and it's it's it put the file in a temp folder so just please don't empty your temp folder before you do this step and then just click simply click auto import it's going to ask you if you want to save the scene that was open of course you, if it's if you already have a pro, uh, scene open save it and then but it's preferable to start from a, 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 an empty scene so just click don't save for now and let it do its thing so depending on the speed of your machine and i i upgraded my machine uh, my motherboard died <laughs> and so i had to upgrade my cpu my memory and everything so this i've noticed a major major improvement in speed um so let's see how long it takes and i like letting it go through the whole entire process so you have an idea of how long it takes so when it's done the character is going to show up like so now what is really neat is that it comes in properly rigged and ready for animation so up here on the definition you can see the the bones have been, uh, have been mapped nicely to the ik uh, this is a human ik rig and if we go to the controls and we are in a full body if i were to select the hip for example and i press move you can actually see the character move like that that's pretty cool and if i 
select the arm and pull so you can see the IK working nicely so that is what's so cool about this uh, bridge to Maya that now the character is ready and you can animate it you can use mockup and I hopefully I'll do another tutorial showing how I've created a scene entirely in Maya built around a character that has been brought in from Daz 3D. So guys, I hope uh, this uh, tutorial helps you and uh, the insight, but you can always go to Daz 3D and get the plugin. Um, I think the one that I'm yet to do is uh, Cinema 4D, Unreal and uh, Unity. Those ones I haven't done. So I've covered Daz Blender to Bridge, Daz to Blender Bridge, does to Maya and does to Max. So my next one I'll be talking about the other ones. But this opens up a big, big opportunity for us as uh, again storytellers, uh, filmmakers, to take advantage of this wealth of characters, you know, that are available on Does 3D. And so, for example, I mean, this one just came out. You can imagine you can take this character with all the props and everything into Maya, create a scene, use motion capture, or even hand animated because it's properly rigged you know so take advantage of it thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when i post a new video see you next time and may you continue to dream big dare to dream big don't give up on your dream the world is open to us thank you so much guys bye bye and thank you so much for your support bye